subscribe to pipe pro tricks if you haven't and in this video we are going to do this question here a lexicographically smallest string so a lexicographically string means that the words are arranged in the dictionary order okay so like we have in the dictionary the alphabets arranged the same way we have to do it right here all right like a b comes first then b a and so on all right so let's have an understanding about the question statement here in this here the input will be given like this a sequence of less than and greater than signs okay and we have to place the alphabets from all the 26 alphabets in between these okay so that it forms a lexicographically smallest string okay so as there are only 26 alphabets we have a condition that we won't be having more than 25 these less than and greater than signs so if we have one less than or greater than sign we will be having two characters here okay so in that way if we have 25 these signs we will be having 25 characters to be placed in these places okay so now let's check out the examples given here these four ones so you can see that in the first example we have a less than sign so a is less than b we can also have these here a b less than c but this is not the lexicographically smaller string this one is so this satisfies the condition it doesn't satisfy the condition of the question so this is the correct answer okay so that's why if a uh, sign like less than is given you have to print this one a b okay so this is the output and if a greater than sign is given you have to print b a you cannot print c greater than b or c greater than a because this is not the smallest string as this b comes before c and this is the correct output so this is the correct answer and this is not okay same way you can do for these rest two like here you can see a is less than c and c is greater than b okay you cannot do like this a is greater than d is greater than b this doesn't satisfy the condition of lexicographical smaller string but if you try to put like this a is less than b then you don't have any other alphabets from the left 24 alphabet so that b is greater than any other from c to z okay so that we we can only put c here and b here this is the only choice we are left with same you can do for this also the last one a is less than c c is greater than b and b is less than d okay so now you understand the question statement let's proceed with the solution now i want you to think yourself first okay and then proceed with the video so let us make an array of all the 20 six alphabets here okay so now we have this array of 26 alphabets all of them okay and the key to this question is counting less than and greater than signs back to back okay and after counting them we will be choosing the characters from this array okay so if we have the less than sign we will be moving from left to right and if we have greater than sign we will be moving from right to left in the array while printing the characters okay so these are the key concepts these two remember these we are going to solve this question by them only okay let's consider a sequence here less than less than greater than greater than less than greater than so we have a total of six signs here so we will be printing seven characters all right so let's count the number of consecutive less than signs here because we have less than front okay so we have less than is equal to two so from this concept we can see that we have to move from left to right to print these two characters okay so we are going to print the output here okay so we have two characters so we will be choosing two characters from here and print them from left to right so we have a and b so we put a here b here okay and in the output we put a b okay so now after doing this we make less than is equal to zero 
after and we have in the array 24 characters left we are going to delete these characters as soon as we print them okay so now 24 characters are left okay now we encounter greater than so we count the consecutive ones until this we have greater than signs so we put greater than is equal to 2 and we will be going to the index of the elements so we go with the index 2 here so let's name them 0 1 and 2 so at the index 2 we have e here so we will be starting from the right to the left okay so we will be going from e to here until we have these two characters printed in the output so here up to here we have these two characters so we'll be printing e delete it d delete it okay so now we are left with 22 characters and after this we will be making greater than is equal to 0 okay let me wipe out these indices and now you go for the less than so only one less than so we stop here and make less than is equal to 1 and we have to go from the left to right so we print one character as we have less than is equal to 1 from the left so C is there so we print C here and delete it from here okay remove the indices now 0 comes here and 1 comes here now less than is equal to 0 and array becomes 21 characters okay so now we go with the greater than sign here so we have only one greater than so make greater than is equal to 1 and we go with the indices 1 from the array okay so as we have to print from the right to left so we print the character from the indices 1 and we have to print only one so we stop here itself we print z here and delete it from here so in the last what we have to print is the first element of the array the first element of the array is f here so we print f here and in the output we can see a b e d c g and f okay so this is the answer you can also see here a is less than b b is less than e e is greater than d greater than c less than g and g is greater than f so this is our right answer okay so the main thing to remember here is this one counting less than and greater than and going from left to right if we have less than and going from right to left if we have the greater than sign all right so let us move to the code now first of all you try to code it by yourself so that you can also learn it now you know the concept to do this question so let's move so now we are going to code this okay so you can see that the first line of the input contains the number of test cases and each line after that contains the sequence of less than greater than okay so first of all we will be making a for loop here for underscore in range int input okay this is for the test cases the number of test cases it will take the input as the integer and then it will go for that many number of times okay first of all we will be creating a sequence here using list comprehension we will be converting it into the characters 97 plus i for i in range 26 so what it will do is go i from 0 to 25 add it to 97 and convert it to the character so what this will print is all the characters okay let me show you you can see a to z okay so we need that sequence so for that we are doing this one here now after that we will be taking the input from the user as the sequence of less than greater than in the variable s then we're gonna make a list of answer which contains our lexicographically smallest string okay this variable contains that string now we are going to create two variables here i comma n is equal to we'll be going from the zeroth index okay so we are putting this i here and length of s in the variable n which contains the length of the input sequence of these less than greater than now we will be going in the while loop for i less than n okay so n will not be included so it will go from 0 to 9 if we have a length of 10 
less than and greater than signs okay so we are going to use a while loop here and in the start itself we are going to count the number of less than and the greater than signs so we make them zero okay in every iteration of this outer while loop all right so now as in the question we just have to count the number of less than and greater than signs okay so first of all let's count the greater than signs while i is less than n because we don't want to cross the index of this s string okay and s of i is equal equal to greater than okay until that we will be incrementing the count of greater than by one okay and we will also increment the value of i by one so that we go to the next sign in the sequence s okay so it will make sure that we don't cross the limit of the length of the input string s and we have all the greater than signs in the consecutive back to back so it will count all of them in the greater than variable okay this count underscore greater than so now what we gonna do is we will go until count greater than is greater than zero okay so until that we will go and we have to go from right to left okay so as i have told you that we have to go from left to right if we have the less than signs and from right to left if we have the greater than signs okay so we will be moving from right to left and we have the index of the greater than here okay so let's choose a sequence here greater than greater than less than less than greater than less than okay so this is the sequence we have so after encountering two greater than signs we just have count greater than is equal to two so we'll be starting from the twoth index that is c and we will be printing that so answer dot append we will appending the answer array which is empty in the starting with the element from the sequence with the count greater than value so in the starting count greater than is equal to two as we have two here so we'll be starting from the c here so c will be appended into the answer and now we will be removing that element c from the sequence array sequence dot pop and in the parenthesis we pass the index of the element so twoth index will be removed now from here so this will no longer be a part of the sequence array and make sure you decrease the value of count greater than by one okay so in the next iteration it will be one and b will be appended to the sequence answer here and it will be removed by this statement here and count greater than becomes zero and this loop exits then okay the same you have to do for the less than signs i greater less than n and s of i is equal equal to less than and we increment the value of count less than by one i plus is equal to one also okay now we have a count of the less than signs that are two we don't have these two here we have a d e and so on up to z so now what we will be doing is while count less than is greater than zero okay until that we are just going to append the value from the left as i told you in the less than you have to go from left to right okay so you just have to append the value from the left the left most value that is at the index zero okay and we are going to pop the value also after appending it into the answer array so we are going to pop the zeroth index value and we are going to decrement the less than variable y1 okay and after doing all these steps when we are out of the while loop we have to append the first element so that we have one element greater than the number of less than and greater than signs okay so we're just going to append the first element that is at the index zero all right so now we have 
this unsorted array which contains the sequence the lexicographically smallest string so we're just going to print it using our join method here dot join so it will join all the elements of the list answer without spaces okay and we just type here answer right and we can execute it here let me show you so let's go with three test cases less than greater than okay i got it i just didn't pass two values here because we have two values on the left side okay so now let's execute it three less than greater than and we have this value right here that's correct let's go with the example we did in the board also less than less than greater than greater than less than greater than okay and you can just check it in the board that it is the correct answer okay we have six elements here and seven alphabets are printed so we are going right direction okay so what if we want to let me show you one more less than less than anything you can put here but it must be less than 26 characters okay and here is the answer you can check it so please subscribe to pi pro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more